So as progressives, we all know that the Democratic Party establishment has repeatedly and brazenly tried to squash the populist movement that was catalyzed by Bernie Sanders, and for the most part, they've been successful at doing this at the national level. However, at the state level, well, Bernie Kratz just took control of the second largest state party organization in the country. So according to The Hill, supporters of Senator Bernie Sanders turned out en masse at ordinarily sleepy party caucuses earlier this month, electing a slate of delegates who could be poised to take over the largest Democratic Party organization outside of Washington, D.C. As final vote totals trickled in, Sanders backers claimed to have elected more than 650 delegates out of the 1,120 available seats chosen at this month's caucuses. Those delegates will choose the next state Democratic Party chairman, along with other party officials. Sanders supporters say they hope to change the very nature of the Democratic Party. One of the issues we're looking to do is transform the party, said Shannon Jackson, executive director of Our Revolution, the organization that grew out of Sanders' presidential campaign. This is the first step in that process. Our Revolution ran an on-the-ground get-out-the-vote effort to make sure supporters attended caucuses in each of the state's 80 assembly districts. The group sent out more than 100,000 emails and delivered 40,000 text messages, Jackson told The Hill. More than 800 Sanders supporters signed up to run for delegate seats. Longtime Democratic activists used to low turnout caucuses in which only party regulars showed up were stunned by the long lines they faced this year. One party strategist in Sacramento said he waited 45 minutes in line before being able to vote when he was used to walking in and out in the span of five minutes. This is to basically force the issues that we vote on onto the legislators for action. So it's a very serious sea change, said Roseanne DeMauro, who heads National Nurses United and the California Nurses Association, groups that backed Sanders during his 2016 presidential primary. The first test of the new Sanders block of voters will come in May, when California Democrats choose a replacement for outgoing state party chairman John Burton. The Nurses Union backs Kimberly Ellis, a San Francisco area party activist who runs Emerge California, a group that trains Democratic women to run for office. Ellis will face Eric Bauman, who heads the Los Angeles Democratic Party and who backed former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. Sanders' group has not made an endorsement in the race, though Jackson said our revolution would consider weighing in. California is not the only state in which Sanders backers are trying to take over the Democratic parties. The group is also organizing in Florida, Iowa, Colorado, and Michigan, Jackson said. Hopefully, within a year or two, we'll have a majority of states covered, Jackson said. So, guys, this is awesome. I mean, if you were part of this, kudos to you. You did a phenomenal job. And we really have to give credit to our revolution because I was very skeptical, you know, at the inception of this organization that it wouldn't be as progressive as we were hoping. But, I mean, it's proving to really be a fantastic organization that's doing a lot of good. So, I mean, the fact that they were able to mobilize voters and get them to show out in mass like this. And to know that this same tactic is being used in Florida, Iowa, Colorado, and Michigan, it's great. I mean, if we can't get change at the national level, then eventually we can create change at the state and local levels and help that to spread across the country to where, you know, the Democratic Party, they're totally infiltrated by Berniecrats. So, I mean, this is a phenomenal victory. This is huge for us. I mean, California and the California Democratic Party, they're a huge organization. They have a lot of sway throughout the country. So for them to take over and hold a majority now, uh, it's it's so great. Now to see what type of uh, progressive reforms they'd be able to push and to see who they appoint as the uh, head of their party organization, it's going to be exciting to watch. So honestly, this is this is a shocking victory to me because... As progressives, we've been completely demoralized. The Democratic Party has tried to do everything they they could to quell our criticism of them and to shut us down and to silence us. But, you know, they've shown that they, they've awoken a beast. With Hillary Clinton and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC, you guys, you did not know who you were messing with. And I'm going to cite the corniest line ever, but I, I think it's appropriate here. Uh, it's the line that states, you know, they tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. I think it's it's pretty relevant here, even though, you know, it, it's kind of corny. But it, it's true. What came out of Bernie Sanders, 
movement and his campaign is something that's so big and so powerful that I never could have predicted that it would actually have lasting power that it's showing to have. So this is huge. Uh, I'm really proud of you guys. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.